What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on CEI ticker. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news that might drive the price of this uh, company. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Mumu valued up to $7,000, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account and deposit as little as $1. This is guaranteed free money. Full details you can see on the screen right now. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at the end of March and I've told you that we were forming this uh, bearish channel and we hit uh, for the first time the psychological number of $1 and also it is the confluence with the top of our first wave right here and it is the confluence with the 0.236 Fibonacci retracement level if I pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from this top to this bottom. And uh, it is a very strong resistance slash support. And I've told you that we should retest it at least once. And depending on the price action right here. And I've told you that uh, if it breaks uh, this range to the upside, retest it from the top and with a good uh, increase in volume will bounce to the upside. Definitely it will be a bullish sign that might uh, lead to much higher prices. But instead of this, we retest it uh, twice again right here. At the, uh, March, on March 23rd on, and on March 24th. And we went lower. And I also told you that next range of support should be at roughly 70 cents price point. And we hit uh, this range right here. Let me mark uh, this range uh, properly for you. We hit it right here and barely broke it to the downside at this uh, point. And from this range, we had a very good bounce to the upside and we even uh, broke uh, the $1 uh, resistance. But unfortunately, we didn't hold it. So. Definitely it is a very impressive price action, but will it hold and what should we expect next I will show you in just several minutes. And for now let's continue with the fundamental news. I have to say that we don't have major news directly related to CEI and definitely because of the lack of news we can rely only on crude oil prices. And let me show you this article and it was published just uh, one day ago and it's titled Why is Camber Energy stock up today? And uh, let me go to this. Today marks the highest price uh, point uh, for natural gas in the United States since 2008. As the war in Ukraine drags on, the global energy crunch uh, continues, leaving governments scrambling to find solutions. This has meant uh, in renewed focus on oil and gas, sending prices up across the United States and Europe. Today, CEI stock is seeing impressive gains while some of its larger peers are struggling. And I have to say that uh, this article uh, relies on the gas prices. And let me show you right here, if I add uh, to this price chart uh, the price of uh, natural gas, as you can see, uh, the only confluence is uh, this uh, swing high. Right here we have the highest point for the natural gas and right here we have the swing high for the CEI ticker. But if I add to this price chart the price of uh, crude oil, let me show you and uh, I don't need the gas prices anymore. We have uh, very good confluence and uh, the CEI ticker follows uh, the crude oil prices much better than the natural gas prices. That is why, in my opinion, we have to rely on uh, the crude oil prices in our fundamental analysis instead of uh, natural gas prices. And let me show you right here that uh, from this top to this bottom, as you can see to the bottom of the price of Camber Energy and to the bottom of the price of oil, the CI ticker bounced to the upside for only 23%, but the oil prices bounced up much higher. And if I pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from this top to the bottom of the oil price, as you can see, oil price broke even golden pocket pattern, but then it went lower. And that is why we have to be very cautious with the next uh, potential movement. So, and uh, let me show you the uh, support from retail community. On the most active section, we have a CI ticker on the eighth place. On the watchers section, we don't have this ticker symbol. And on a trending section, we don't have this ticker symbol as well. And on appwisdom.io, we have Cumber Energy on the 66th place. 
and it lost 36 rows during last 24 hours and it has only 15 mentions and uh, the decrease in mentions is uh, more than 55%. Definitely this asset is losing its momentum, that's why we don't have much chances uh, to hit high targets with the support of retail community. On top of that, let me show you the short interest data related to this asset and the short interest percent of float is 9.85%. It is not the highest one and the off exchange short volume ratio is 49.85%. It is also not the highest among uh, other assets. And as you can see, this asset has 750,000 shares available for shorting. And the short borrow fee rate uh, is 31.74. It is not the lowest one, but definitely it is not the highest. And with these uh, two numbers, with the short borrow fee rate, with the shares available for shorting, I don't think that uh, we have uh, decent chances uh, to hit high targets uh, because of the short squeeze. That's why we have to be cautious. So. And let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, let me clean the chart a little bit. I don't need uh, the oil prices right now. And what should we expect next? As you can see, we have uh, we clearly see several waves uh, in this movement from the bottom of uh, 67 cents all the way up uh, to this range of 1.07 dollars. And because of uh, this increase in volume, we might break uh, this movement to the upside uh, like this. Uh, this might be the first wave and it is very tiny, tiny first wave and uh, I have a lot of doubts about this movement. Then second one, probably this is the third, fourth retracement and uh, extension in the fifth wave. So. Technically, we completed uh, five waves structure and this means we have to have a retracement. To measure these levels, to measure the levels of potential retracement, uh, we have to pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from this bottom to this top. And as you can see, we have a very good uh, reaction from 0.382. We, uh, we had a bounce during last session. And uh, for now, we are approaching again to this range and most likely, in my opinion, we should break it because uh, the retracement from the top of the wave should have uh, usually should have a shape of simple zigzag and for now we have uh, this potentially as our a wave this as our b wave and we have to land the bottom of our c wave and uh, to project uh, the length of the c wave uh, we can pull the fibonacci extension tool from this top to this bottom and project the length uh, from the top of the b wave and as you can see we have very good confluence uh, of one to one extension with the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement range and this means it is the most probable range that we might hit and from this range we have very good chances to have a trend reversal. So what should you do if you want to enter the position? First of all, remember that this asset uh, is just some kind of uh, derivative of uh, crude oil and that's why you have uh, to pay closer attention to the crude oil prices and you have to pay closer attention on potential news that might drive the price of oil higher or lower. Definitely it is a Ukraine and Russia crisis. Definitely it is potential meeting of OPEC countries. And uh, these news might drive uh, not only the oil prices, but also the CEI ticker symbol price. That's why, in my opinion, we have to be very cautious. And with the lack of uh, support from retail community, we don't have uh, much chances to hit high targets. And uh, that's why if uh, we'll go this deep at the range of roughly 87 cents, you can accumulate your position. But the price target is not the highest one. First of all, we have to break the top of our previous wave and it is $1.08. And from this range, if we'll go this deep and if you will accumulate uh, your position right here, we might have uh, up to 25% uh, of potential profits. But uh, the most probable range of trend reversal is still the golden pocket range. And for if we will go this deep, uh, and uh, we will have a trend reversal from this level, we might have uh, up to 32% of upside potential to the previous swing high. So, I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye!